Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the injector cups or injector slip on a Freilander Cascadia. So the first thing we need to do is to remove this over here by removing this T30 uh, bolts and this T10, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here. All the way, those four bolts and the other three T30 bolts over there to remove this panel. Okay, now with the panel off, we now remove the air filter housing right here by removing these bolts right here, this one, two, and the third one right here. On this side of the air filter housing, we have to remove this clamp right here with a screwdriver right here. And this other clamp right here with a plier to remove the hole. Okay, now we're going to remove this pipe. It's right here. We're gonna remove this bolt right here. This other bolt right here. And we're gonna release the clamp to remove the whole pipe. Okay, now with the pipe off, we're going to remove these brackets. Uh, using a 13 millimeter socket for all the bolts. So we're gonna remove this bracket by removing this four bolts right here there is one two three four now remove this other one uh, to remove this bracket we need to remove these two bolts right here and are holding this pipe and the other uh three bolts and are in here you see there is one two three they are holding this uh cool and pipe right here we need to remove those and remove these three nuts to remove the whole bracket and to this one we just have to remove the bolts four bolts one two three four okay now we have access to the valve cover so we're gonna remove all the bolts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven bolts then are still holding the valve cover now the next thing to do is to remove the injector harness which is this one right here was all the way right there it's two separate harness the front and the rear uh, the first thing to remove the harness is to unplug this one to the left like this sometimes it gets hard then we have to release this clip right here just bring it up like this and uh, we have to use a 5 millimeter allen socket to remove these bolts right here it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine bolts and we're gonna use a t25 screwdriver to remove all the j brakes and the injector uh, wires now we have full access to the injectors so the first thing we need to do to remove the injectors is to remove the injection line here this is a high pressure injection line uh, using a three quarter uh, or a 19 millimeter uh, wrench for this all the six lines okay, with all the fuel lines out there is no fuel lines now we can proceed to remove the fuel injectors uh, to remove the fuel injectors, we need to remove that bolt that is right there. It's a 10 millimeter bolt, a 12 point 10 millimeter bolt. And uh, we need to use one tool like this to spray the injector out like this after we have removed the bolt to release uh, the injector. We're gonna uh, do the same process to all the six injectors okay all the six injectors are out now we can see the injector cups right there the injector slips all of them you can clearly see the coolant mark around them so uh, the seals are completely destroyed that's the reason why the coolant is going to the fuel uh, now we have to remove the injectors cups uh, we need to use this tool that I have right here. This is the tool number. Uh, you can buy that online or at any Detroit dealer. Uh, and it looks like this. This one goes like this in here. And it sits on the cup, as you can see there. 
you have to use it correctly otherwise you can damage the cap or the tool and you won't be able to remove it so always use it in the proper way uh, now after this you have to place a grange over here this is a 3 quarters or 19 millimeter grange and you have to go to the left to lose it and you have to do the same for all the six to remove all the caps okay now all the six injector caps are out okay the injector cap bearings are in here inside the head to replace them uh, you have to look here it's right here you can see it's barely it's really hard to see it is right there that's the o-ring to replace the o-ring you need something like this a tool like this bit it in two so you can go in here and very carefully try to strike the o-ring it's a very delicate job because you have to be very careful not to drop anything inside the combustion chamber and you have to pull the whole o-ring out and after that uh, we need to do the same process to all six injectors it's very hard to remove these o-rings okay so the injector cups o-rings are right here as you can see they're completely destroyed so that's the reason why the coolant was going inside the fuel so i have the new uh fuel uh, I mean like uh, injector cups orange is a kit it comes with all these orange and this is the part number right here as you can see then I have the new injector cup right here it is the part number the orange kit comes with uh, the injector slips orange all the injector orange the fuel injector orange the fuel line seals and the new uh, bolts for the injectors okay to insert the o-ring inside the uh, head we have to place it like this and be very careful to introduce it inside and then we have to align it to the inside groove right there the, to the groove in here you have to insert the orange and then go around it so it can be properly installed we have to do the same to all six uh, injectors but before doing this you have to clean really well the area where the orange sits and all other stuff that is around all the coolant or the fuel so you can insert the uh, injector slips or the injector cups after placing the new o-rings okay all the injector o-rings are in place as you can see here okay to install the new injector cap all we need to do is use the same tool to insert it uh, we can use a three-quarter grange a small grange if you want and later we have to use a torque range to torque it uh, we want to apply some grease around here so we can lubricate the orange to, pre to prevent any premature damage okay all the injector cups are in place as we can hear here uh, we can see here everything is in place so now we're gonna use the same tool we're gonna remove this top part here by move this part and uh, we're gonna torque the uh, injector cap. We're gonna torque it to 37 pounds. We're gonna release it uh, like a like half, half turn and then we're gonna torque it again. Okay, after placing all the injector cups, the next thing to do is to replace all the injector orange and the uh, crusher washer right here. I'll we'll replace one, two, three orange to all the injector. Remember to install the injectors in the same position as you replace them, as you remove them, I'm sorry. All injectors have new o-rings, new crusher washer, and uh, all the three o-rings are replaced. We have all the old o-rings here, they're all messed up, they're all dry, so anyway, they were bad. So, we want to use an air blower to blow around these orifices over here, to blow any coolant, uh, around the injectors or any dirt so we're gonna blow all these around so 
uh, the injectors are completely clean. The injector is fully clean. Now we're gonna insert the bracket that holds the injector. You're gonna put a new ball. Injectors are on place, the six injectors. Now we just need to tie the ball right here uh, to 15 pounds and then we're gonna turn it to uh, 90 degrees. Okay, all the fuel injectors are completely secure, are torn to the specifications. Uh, now the next thing to do is to replace the injector, uh, the fuel uh, line seals with a 10 millimeter socket. Our six of the injector uh, line seals are on place now, the new seals. It's time to install the injector line. What we have to do is to blow some air to the lines in case there is something trapped inside them. And after that we're gonna apply some grease in this area where the seal goes. Okay, the injector seals, the injector lines and the injectors are completely installed and secure. So now the next step we have to go is install the injector harness. We're gonna install the two injector harness and then we're gonna install the valve cover. Okay, uh, to install the injector harness we have to insert this end first like this. This is the wire that goes outside, so we have to align it like this. Okay, after installing this uh, part of the harness, you have to align all the bolts right here to align all the screws for the injectors. And then you have to insert the front harness the same way. Okay, now we have to tie all the bolts, all the injector harness bolts. There are nine bolts in total. And then all the uh, injector uh, bolts right here, the nuts right here, you have to tie them all. Uh, and after that, the chain brake. Don't forget about these ones. Injector harness is in place, totally secure, all, everything is secure and tight. Uh, the next step to do is to install these clips and go here in the injector harness and then to insert the plug then connect to the injector harness now everything is on place now we can proceed to install the valve cover and the rest of the components we remove okay everything is on place as you can see everything is back on place totally secure uh, now the last things we need to do before starting the engine is replace the fuel filters we need to replace the three fuel filters right here and drain any coolant thing is right here we have to drain here this little valve thing is here is to drain any fluid any coolant thing is trapped in the fuel water separator area and after that we're going to replace the coolant filter right here I'm gonna put a new coolant filter and add new coolant okay after replacing the fuel filters the coolant filter and adding the coolant completely full uh, it's time to start the engine okay we're gonna can the engine okay now the engine is running now we're gonna see the engine in the studio there is no leaks around it's okay